Like, everything that Ten Hag is doing right now makes no sense. And if it is making sense, then someone tell me right now it is making sense. Go on, Ed. Um, first of all, I'm not asked about this. I, I, we already showed it. We, I played it on United Real Therapy and, and I shared it for a lot of people to see. On the eve of um, the season, he said the same thing. He basically said, the players dictate the type of football that I'm going to play. And I'm not. And by the way, you can never... Let me just finish. You can never. Is that actually, right? No, is that right? No, 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 no. Let me finish. You can never actually play the same type of football that you play with one club to the other club. Manchester United are in the Eredivisie. Sorry, Ajax are in the Eredivisie. Manchester United are in, are in the Premier League. So this idea that we're going to play the same, we've got totally different players, we've got totally different cultures, totally different way of football. The leagues are like like day and night. So this idea. Okay, okay. That okay forget about no, the league. No, 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 yeah, yeah. Brought in no, 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 no. No, let me finish the point. The question somebody should have asked in that question was the follow-up question. Manchester United fans expect attacking football. Yeah. You don't have to necessarily play the Ajax way because we don't expect that because we've never played the Ajax way, right? We've never, right? So the, 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 the follow-up to that question would have been, for Manchester United fans wanted you for the reason to play a style of play. And the most telling thing he said, if you go back to the quote, Said, he said, it's not what I came here. He came here to win a trophy to get Manchester United back in the top four. And from that, he's been explicit in majority of his press conferences last season and this season. It's about winning. He said, if you play bad, you have to win still. So he's come here to win. Like I always said to you guys, I rather last season he had more th more credit in the bank because we had we came back up, we came from the back of the worst season in Manchester United Premier League history. So and when people were asking me, where do we finish, Said? We, we, we said it on here. We were like, if we don't care where we finish, six or seven, but as long as we play good football and he, had, he imprints the style of football. But we didn't do that because the club did not get him for that. The club got him in for to come on. And he came, remember the first interview he gave, he said, he was talking about Rashford and the likes of Bruno and these guys. Let's forget. He said specifically, he said, this, he said this, this team are not bad. They finished second. That's what he said. This is the words, right? He remember said this team, well. yeah, finished second. So Manchester United, by giving Bruno and Rashford the contracts, made them through the, the guys, that the faces of Manchester United. Eric Ten Hag, as a manager, put all his slot with Bruno and Rashford to play through them, to play the counter-attacking. We were playing all right football. Remember, in that Europa League, Come around yep. the, the come around the Barcelona tie, come around the Spurs. Remember the only game that I can remember, I think Manchester United dominated from minute one to last minute was the Spurs. No, game. Can I ask you a question though. So let me, let, 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 no, let me just finish this. And then he sacrificed the style of play and football last season in January. That's why when I was on here, when when um when, when the brother says, Oh, we get hope. No, I never had no hope. I was the one that was screaming from January. This football is so successful. In terms of the United not scoring goals, in the tweet yesterday, I said, I don't know where we're going to score from. So at the end of the day, Manchester, if you've been paying attention, he sacrificed style of play from January onwards last season. This season in the transfer window, he bought in Hoyland, uh, Unana, and he got in um, Mason Mount, right? They're the three main signings, yeah? Amrabat is a loanee sign, right? And that came later in the window. So he got those three yeah. specific signings. And I'm sorry to say, Saeed, me and you have sat here on this Straight Jacket podcast and we sp I explicitly said, Manchester United need to sign five younger players, energetic players, who can go straight into that first team and give a different energy. But I'm sorry, that, they're not going to do that. Listen, you, but this is the, his listen, personnel, listen, though. Listen, what we yeah, are seeing right now is listen, more I understand. No, 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 no. No, I understand the criticism. Why are you spending 80 million on a guy and that you wanted, I'm putting him on Next. the bench. And why are you putting Bruno out? Why? Why can't you play Bruno in his position? And what's the point of making Bruno captain if he interferes with the way you want to play? Why is it you're always getting him out of the midfield? And then he's why creating his own problems. Listen, he's creating listen, his no, no, own no, problems. Saeed, Saeed, I understand that. That's what I'm saying to you. I'm genuinely thinking Ten Hag is like Ten Hag out at the moment. He's like a rabbit in the headlights, right? So let me tell you what it was. So, because I remember these things, I've got that kind of memory. With Moyes, it was what got him the sack was, oh, Manchester, Manchester City had the blueprint. We need to catch up to Manchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Right, right. And Andy takes run. Listen, forget that. Listen, <laughs> oh, that's what I, I fucking remember that night. Well, listen, 
listen, and, and let me say, Louis Van Gaal, Louis Van Gaal was what got him the sack was the philosophy, the philosophy, the philosophy. People were like, well, he, but he was the only guy that actually bought a style of play. It's not the style of play that we wanted. We wanted attacking football, quicker football. Yeah. And he was the only guy that actually coached players. And for him to do that, Sae, he, uh, Andy and, uh, and the brother, I'll say it simple. Brian, he got rid of tons of players. No manager. So, Saeed, when you made that statement, you bring. You have to play your stack. Manchester United do not want to go. Manchester United said at the beginning of the season, before the ball was kicked, 13 players. Six of them were the highlights. Matt Fred, Donny van der Beek, Anthony Martial, Jadon Sancho, right? They wanted to get rid of. And you know what? Guess who only left? Man Maguire, the sixth. He guess who only left? Fred. So this idea that he's in control and that, no, at this moment in time, when what he's got, the football we're playing is unsustainable. But it's been like that. It's just that from January to the end of the season last side, we were not conceding as many goals because he doesn't know we are. First and now we are. Bit. That's the difference. That is the only difference, people, is that from January till the end of the season, we were not conceding a lot of game, lot of goals and losing a lot of games at home because he had his first team defence. But the football hasn't changed that much. And majority of you, I'm sorry to say, I'm putting it on the fans, when people like me were like, we're not challenging City, why are we in this Europa League? Who said we're challenging we City? Pops? Nobody said this, we're challenging City. No, 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 no. No, but a lot of the fans... We were wanted thinking. to compete. No, no. We wanted no, to compete. No, we're not competing. I said we're not competing because we're not set up of a football club from head to toe to compete. No, but when I was saying you that, can compete. That, hold on, hold on a minute, Lawrence. Let, let me just finish the point. I get what I'm you mean. I'm not talking about specific games. No, but you're talking about title. I'm not talking about specific games. I'm not talking about specific games. I'm not talking about specific game. I'm talking about the season. And I was saying to you guys, I rather we get out of these competitions and Eric fucking oh Hag has the time on oh. the fucking training it's ground time to go. We're not playing about players. Game and majority of fucking oh you were God. telling you me I'm being fucking again. negative. I don't understand. Majority it's of you were telling trophies. me I'm being negative. And trophies. I said he needs How's to go about? on his training ground and coach these players. And you know what I said? You know what he said? Yeah, you know what he said? You want to shout you know too much? He's all just ripping. You know what he said? Let me finish the point what he said. Yeah, but Eric Ten Hag, out of his own words, said this. He said, I've got no time to coach these players with the games. The players need games. And that's what happened. Well, and I, I was screaming at him. I'm not, listen, I'm not going to, listen to me. I'm not going to, listen, I'm not going to, Johnny come lately. I'm not Tom Cut. Listen, I'm not John Tom Cut. I'm not to this. I am not. I am not to this. I am not to this. I am not. To this. I am not. Okay, I said, let me ask Johnny you a question. Johnny come lately. Okay, I okay, was okay, screaming okay, the okay. alarm bells. Brian no, will really, tell no, really. you. I was screaming the alarm bells from fucking January. So all you come minute, John, Johnny hold come lately. Welcome to the club. No, really. Welcome to the club. Hold on a minute. Has Unai Emery? Has Unai Emery got time in the training ground? Yes or no? He's playing Are you two kidding me? The pressure that is on at Manchester United is not the same at Aston Villa. Are you, Are you kidding me? I'm not about pressure. Forget pressure. Forget pressure. No, no, no. I didn't say Why? about pressure. It's the I said training the ground. Hold on a minute. You're not listening to me. He's got no time in the training ground. He's got to play two games a week. Unai Emery. And what? How, look at the football they're playing. Look at the football they're playing. I'm not talking about trophies. I'm talking about what is implemented in training onto the football pitch. Unai Emery is schooling Ten Hag how to the train players told into you know. a team. Said, I'm sorry if you were not listening and the fan base were not listening. The manager told you, he said, I am he with the evidence we saw from January onwards till this till 10 games in the Premier League this season has been about winning. And he always said it's not about how you play, it's about winning. And at the moment, that you know what? We're not the, talking listen, about winning though, we're not talking chickens, about winning right now. Listen, we're talking about the chickens style of play. Have come home to roost. It's the an chickens excuse. have come home to roost. Most of you in the chat, Johnny come lately. Johnny come lately. The football we played from January onwards in four competitions was unsustainable. I said it. I got kept. I got called negative on Twitter. People trolling me on here. People laughing here. You're not laughing now because you know what? It's a lazy excuse. You it's know a lazy what? Excuse. You know what? The manager told you himself he's been bought to do something different at this football club. That's what he's been bought. No, and he's abandoned his principles. That's what his he's done. No, no, hold on a minute. It's, it's a silly clear. excuse. 
It's a silly excuse. He's abandoned his principles as a Man United manager. And now, like I said to you, he's in that pressure moment where he's making daft decisions. That's what it comes down to. But listen, I'm not talking about winning. I'm when not did talking we play about winning. Football? Trophies. Hold on a minute. When Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish what it's I'm going to say. January. I'm not. Cut. Well, hold on a minute. I'm not talking about winning trophies. I want Man United to have a style of play. Unai Emery has shown in the blueprint two games a week. All I want Man United is to have a game plan. They know what they're doing. They have the right personnel, the right in-game management. He's got a squad. He doesn't use his squad well. And then what he does is he overuses certain players. Am I telling him to play Rashford and Bruno every week? No, that's down to him. You trust your squad. You have a formation. You have a style. You implement it for the whole team. Right now, nobody knows what they're doing. Even his guys that he's brought on for Mason Mount. Even Mason Mount's coming in if you can hold on a minute. What have I been brought in here for? You're not even playing me. So Ten Hag, whether you like it or not, does not know what he's doing. And it's okay to say that. It's okay to say that. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. And the super chat Mubs is reminding you all. I said it from okay, January. Let me, re- let me read the super what chat. Do we let me want? read the super chat. What do we want? Do we want to chase Haribo Cup trophies or do we want a style of play? And you all said he can do both. But you know what? He can't fucking do both. He can't. And if he can't do both, then he has to leave then, innit? Because that's what the demands of my United are. Because you need time on the training ground. Look at Arsenal. You need time on the training ground. And I kept, and Brian knows what I'm talking about. And I've been saying this. Okay, let me read the super chat. Everybody knows my point of view. I said it from January onwards. 